Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. On this video, we are covering CCNA semester four, routing and switching, connecting networks, and this is chapter seven. Chapter seven talks about securing site-to-site -site connectivity. Chapter seven is divided in four sections. We have section 7.1. We describe here what is VPN or virtual private networks. Then we move on to configuring and describe what it is site-to-site uh, -site GRE tunnels, which is chapter uh, or section 7.2. Then we move on to section 7.3, introduction to IPsec. Then we have a section 7.4, remote access. Section 7.1, VPN or virtual private networks. Upon completion of this section, you should be able to describe the benefits of VPN technology and then describe the site-to-site -site and remote access VPNs. So, introduction to VPNs. Organizations that need secure, reliable and cost-effective ways to interconnect multiple networks, such as allowing branch offices and suppliers to connect to corporate, corporation headquarter networks. What we can have here, for example, this is how to have our headquarter, and we have, say, branch one and branch two here. We can have a private network or, yeah, purchase a private link like a lease line or something that we can connect our, our branches to headquarters. But that's that's not very, it's not good cost wise because it's very expensive and it's not scalable. With VPN, as long as you have access to the broadband, as long as you can access to the internet, you can create a virtual private network. Instead of just buying normal private network, expensive private network, virtual private network is free. As long as you configure it, that's fine. Additionally, with a growing number of teleworkers, enterprise having an increased need to, for secure, reliable and cost-effective ways to connect employees. Now, virtual networks, they're not going to be good at all for the uh, teleworkers because teleworkers, they, they move around. So you can't just purchase private networks everywhere they go. So now, it, it's the best way is using VPN because we can encrypt and we can create a virtual private network at any time. Organization use VPNs to create an end-to-end -end private network connection over third-party networks such as the internet or extranets. The tunnel eliminates the distance barrier and enables remote users to access central site network resources. A VPN is a private network created by a tunneling over a public network, usually the internet. So we're creating a secure private network over unsecure public network. Benefits of VPN. So VPN uses a virtual connection that are routed throughout the internet from the private networks of the organization to the remote sites or employee host. The information from private network is securely transported over the public network. The benefits of VPN is the following. First is cost saving. VPN enables organization to use cost effective third party internet transport to connect remote offices and remote users to the main site. Therefore, eliminating expensive, dedicated wide area network links and modern banks. Scalability, VPN enables organization to use the internet infrastructure within ISPs and devices, which makes it easy to add new users. And security, VPN can include security mechanisms that provide the highest level of security by using advanced encryption and authentication protocol that protect data from unauthorized access. Types of VPN. So we have two types of VPN. The first is site-to-site -site VPN and the second is remote access VPN. On a site-to-site -site VPN is created when devices on both sides of the VPN connection are aware of the VPN configuration in advance. The VPN will remain static and internal hosts have no knowledge, no knowledge that VPN exists. In a site-to-site -site VPN, end hosts and, and send and receive normal TCP IP traffic throughout the VPN gateway. The VPN gateway is responsible for calculating and encrypting outbound traffic for all traffic from a particular site. Site-to-site -site VPN connects entire network to each other. For example, they can connect branch office to another to office network to company headquarters network. In the past, a lease line or frame relay connection was required to connect sites, but because most corporations have access to the internet now, 
this connection can be replaced with site-to-site -side VPNs. So site-to-site -side VPN is, if I just write it here very quickly, it's like, okay, well, I have, for example, a whole site A. This is site A, for example, or branch, and this is our headquarters, yeah? So site-to-site -side VPN, you have the VPN concentrators or VPN routers that will create this VPN virtual private network, like this tunnel here. Now the devices, end devices within our branch, within our sites, they have no idea they're part of the VPN. So for example, when this laptop is trying to access a server on this side, for example, imagine there's a server, that's our VPN concentrator. Imagine there's a f server here somewhere. So when this laptop is trying to access, it's going through the VPN and out to the server and the traffic is coming back from the server to the client. Now these two devices, this, the server and the laptop on this side and the server on this side, they have no idea it's part of the VPN. The user here will notice it the data when sometimes is going to this place is a bit slow, but there's got no idea that they have they are part of the VPN, which there are some advantages to that because the users they don't have to initiate another VPN another like connection, they don't have to start anything they just will work like they, they, everything is in their side everything is located on the this what I'll, SA what I put here, sorry here, SA. Another type of, net, of VPN is remote access VPN. Now in the remote access VPN, the users is for teleworkers. The users, they will know they are part of the VPN. Where site-to-site -site VPN is used to connect to the entire network, remote access VPN support the needs of telecommuters, mobile users and extra net consumer to business traffic. A remote access VPN is created when VPN information is not statically set up but instead allows for dynamic change in information that can be enabled and disabled. Remote access VPN are used to connect individual hosts and must access the company that must access the company network security over the internet. Internet connectivity used by telecommuter is typically a broadband, DSL wireless or cable connection. VPN clients software may need to be installed on the mob mobile user end device. For example, each host might have Cisco AnyConnect uh, secure mobility client software installed. Okay, so in the side to side, the client didn't really know that it's part of the VPN. All the traffic they send in is just opening a folder. The folder's in the other side, it's going through the VPN. No idea what's happening. Now, in the remote access VPN, this user knows that it's part of the VPN. Uh, sorry, here, part of the VPN here. Now, the user will have to connect to the broadband, like usual, the normal surfing and all that. When he wants to access to the headquarters, he needs to initiate another connection. Okay, thank you very much for watching this section, 7.1 VPNs. Please have a look at my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Astrid Krasnitsche and hopefully to see you in next video, which is 7.2 Site-to-Site GRE Tunnels. Bye-bye.